What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phone Steam. So having an internet these days is not at all a problem. But having good Wi-Fi signals is surely a problem. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to boost or make your Wi-Fi signal stronger by really simple methods. So in this way, you can get very good Wi-Fi signals or slash strengths. And in this video, this tutorial might even improve your internet speeds by a little fraction. So it's going to be a little fraction. So don't expect really big boosts in your internet speeds, but even your internet speed is going to be benefited from this method. So let's start. So all you are going to need for this is that you need your Wi-Fi router few say wires so these are metallic wires without any insulation so they're real metallic wires and a pen and in case just have a plier if you need so here's the router so the antenna part is going to be the place where your wi-fi signal is coming out so this is where we are going to be concentrating so all you need to do is take your pen or marker have the metal wire on that and just keep on winding it and just push it down a little and this way you'll get a spiral shape windings so this is actually known as hard wiring if I'm correct so just try to make loads of these because lots of these are going to be improving your signal strength so next thing to do is uh, take these wirings put it on the antenna so this may look a little awkward or funny but this surely works so please take a note and next what you have to be doing is that just take the next piece of wire that you have and try to make it like a 3d sphere so anyway getting a perfect sphere is actually a difficult task but still try making a perfect sphere so since i have a short wire i can't do a big sphere but try making some spheres like structures so that you get something like this and all you need to do is place it on top of your router so let me show you so i have two so i keep one on top and the next one like just keep it on top of that so you are going to really actually get a really awkward looking modem but still this surely increases your wi-fi strength and your wi-fi signal say and even the internet speed is going to be boosted so for testing the internet speed let me show you so to check the internet speed before the installation so i have the modem here without any of those wires connected so let's begin the test so this is the usual basic o class p test so this is a really reliable test say you can rely on this really well and the speeds with, with which it shows are actually true. So I've got a download speed of 22.64 Mbps so this is my basic internet speed here and in India getting this is actually a big hassle really. So upload speed I got 13 so so now let's install or say i mean put the wires and i'll we'll check it out so now i've installed the wires as you can see here towards the left so let me reload the page and let's run the test one more time and uh, here we go i hope we get good results so the ping has reduced from 7 to 4 so let's see 
now it's stuttering around 22 22.5 it's reducing in, yeah it's actually reducing in the previous one you can say and it's got around 22.01 mbps and the upload speeds are increasing reducing so So upload speeds have really shown an improvement. So from 13 Mbps I've got nearly 9 Mbps more. So upload speeds are now nearly actually more than the download speeds. So there's no difference in the download speed. So from the tests I've done I can prove that the download speeds won't be changing if you do this hardwiring technique. But the upload speeds are surely going to be jumping up by a lot. So this method of doing hard wiring is actually efficient and I recommend it. So if you want a very good signal strength and boost your internet speed, mainly the upload speeds, you can surely try this hard wiring technique. So if you like this video, please be sure to hit a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Phonesteam for more tips and tutorials and reviews on tech. So this is Suman signing off once again and peace.